What's going on guys? The Dad Gamer. Today's video, we're going to be looking at how to add the share alert name. Uh, as you can see, Francisco is my latest sharer. We're also going to how to add the star donation name. Uh, Dylan was my latest star donator. He sent 250 stars. As you can see, the names stay up. So if you're looking to do that, you can continue watching my video tutorial and I'll show you how to do that. I had a couple guys in the Facebook gaming uh, community ask me how to do this. Uh, they seem, I guess they watched some of my stream and seen these names on it. So I'll show you, um, this is my main game scene. So to my left you can see that Francisco is my latest sharer and Dylan is my latest star donator. And those will stay up the whole time that I'm streaming until the next person either shares or donates. And then their name will be up there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do, uh, we'll try to make this a little quick tutorial. So just bear with me, do what I do, and you will have success. So the first thing you want to do is go to your stream dashboard, go to alert settings, and whichever one you want to have, you're going to have that one checked only. That's the only one you're going to have checked. So right now we're going to have shares. So we're going to uncheck everything else. And we're just going to have shares checked. You're going to hit alert settings again. You're going to go down to alert lists. You're going to copy this URL. And hit control C. Then we're going to go back to our OBS. You're going to whatever game scene you want this to be under. You'll go to that one. You're going to hit this add button. You're going to go up to browser. Name it whatever you want. Share alert. Two. I already have a share alert. This box is going to pop up under the URL. You're going to delete that one and you're going to copy the one you just, or you're going to paste the one that you just copied. You're going to hit OK. The white box is going to pop up. We're going to come back over here. We're going to minimize that for a second. You're going to click on my Google Documents link that I have in the description. It's going to bring this up. And under star share alert CSS code, you're going to start the copy from right here at body. You're going to go all the way down, copy that whole thing. Control C for copy. You're going to go back to your OBS. And wherever that, oops, wherever that box popped up with all the alerts, you're going to right click on that, go down to properties, under the custom CSS, we're going to get rid of everything that is in that box. Then you're going to hit control V or right click paste, and you're going to hit OK. And once you do that, the only name that is going to show is the recent one, and that is how you do your share. Simple as that. You can hold alt if you want to basically crop this to wherever you want. I cropped out where it says share stream or shared stream to their timeline because sometimes it can be long and it'll block everything else. So I just have their name. Then you can drag that anywhere else where you want. You can make it big, whatever you want to do with it. And you can drag that to whatever you want. And that is that. So with the star donation, it is the exact same way. So we're going to bra drag ourselves back over here. We're going to go back to dashboard. You're going to hit alert settings again. You're going to uncheck shares. And you're going to check stars. So the only thing that's going to be showing is your latest stars. Uh, star donator, if you have any going to hit alert settings again then you're going to hit alert list again the only thing that's going to show is the latest star again you're going to copy the url control c you're going to go back to obs you're going to hit the add button again you're going to hit browser again you're going to name it whatever you want star alert 2 you're going to hit ok obs studio box is going to pop up again under url Backspace, Control V, hit OK. White box is going to pop up again. 
again we're going to go back to the google documents link that i provided we're going to go to the top of it it's going to say facebook uh or sorry not facebook chat you're going to go back to the star and share alert you're going to scroll down copy all of it again Control c for copy i'm going to go back to obs wherever that uh star alert boxes right click properties and you guessed it we're gonna paste it into the custom css and hit ok and mr dylan is the only thing that's going to show up Get rid of that so you can see it and then there it is mr dylan is my latest star donation you can hit alt again to crop I crop this replay out so that's not on screen then I can put that you know under Francisco sort of crop it to make it the same size and then when somebody shares Francisco will go away and then that recent name will pop up when somebody share or send star donations Dylan's name will go away and the recent star donator will be there and that is it that is how you do that so this is my basically my in-between lobby scene i have my latest share and latest star donator right to my left as you can see right there right here now if you want to do chat i'll show you how to do that also chat is literally the same thing um you can put if you have a scene like this you want chat or if you want it on any other scene i'll show you how to do that quick so we're going to go back to our streamer dashboard. Uh, I'll just do it from here. You're going to scroll down to where your latest comments are. You're going to hit this tab for your comment pop out. Comments are going to be all right here. And as you guessed it, we're going to copy this URL. Control C. Then we're going to go back to our OBS scene that we want our chat overlay to be on. Uh, let me remove that. So you can see how to do this. We're going to add. We're going to go browser again. You guessed it. Name it whatever you want. <clears throat> That's going to pop up again. Delete the URL. Copy the one you just, uh, or paste the one you just copied. Hit OK chat's gonna pop up with a white box and we're going to go back to our Google documents and we're gonna scroll all the way up to the top and where it says Facebook chat CSS code you're going to copy that one we're gonna go back to OBS right click on your chat box go down to properties Delete everything that's in the custom CSS there. Control V. Hit OK. And there you go. There is your chat. Now, obviously, when you go live, there's nothing going to be there because nobody has uh, chat or commented anything. But this will auto scroll. It'll do like as you see on your comment section. And that is it. That is all you got to do easy peasy tutorial hope you gain some useful information out of that so that is that that is all you got to do um hope you enjoyed the video hope it was a quick one tried to make it quick as possible um this is probably my third time filming this uh my first one was a little bit too long i felt like um if you have any questions leave uh leave me a comment on this video if you want me to respond very quickly Go to my Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description on my Facebook page and message me through my Facebook page uh, that I can quickly get to you that way. Sometimes I don't get to comments on my YouTube videos because sometimes I'll post a video and then I'll look at it a couple of days later. So if you want to quickly get to me, just go to my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash thedadgamer1. Just message me through there and I'll get back to you very fast. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some useful information out of it. Uh, like I said, a couple guys reached out to me through the Facebook community. I uh, was asking how I <clears throat> have the names to stay up. So I figured I'd make a video about it instead of typing a message through, and try to explain it through text. If video is a little bit easier, you can watch along, do whatever you want. Uh, so if you do exactly what I did in the video, you'll you'll have the results that I have. I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun to make. It's always fun to make and uh, get some tutorials out there, help you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not, you can go over to my Facebook page, follow me on there. Uh, we're doing a giveaway at 400 followers. I'm either going to give away a Turtle Beach headset that I have, or we might do like a $25 gift card to anywhere you want. Maybe like a Visa, get you some V-Bucks in Fortnite. But anyways, I'm going to go. That was it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you need any help. Go message me over at Facebook. I can get directly back to you very fast. And anything else you need, leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go follow me over at Facebook Live. Like I said, facebook.com slash thedadgamer1. I live stream Monday through s Friday. Sometimes Saturday, sometimes Sunday. But that is it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm glad you came by and stopped by. Hope I helped you guys out. And I'll see you later.